What's going on guys? It is Babylon time. We got the Pure Drive 98. Here we go, 16 by 19, 305 grams. And we're gonna compare the Pure Drive 98 to the Pure Arrow 98. And this has a 16 by 20 string pattern and it's a little bit more headlight than the Pure Drive. So I'm gonna compare these two today and see which one I like. We have the same string in the two rackets. It's the Hawk Touch. It comes in both red and gray, and we have them strung at 44 pounds. Uh, I am a Babolat fan and played with them a lot back in the day. Actually, we got them right here. Goats of Babolats, in my opinion. Pure Control Team, which is 310 grams unstrung. And we got the Pure Drive, obviously old school, from back in like 2003. Uh, Pure Drive Team, that is 300 grams unstrung, and they're both extended, of course, which I like. Now, why would Babolat come out with these two right now? I personally think it's because of rackets like these, the Extreme Tour, ESO 98, the Blade 98 as well same weight category and these are very popular sticks and i like them both and Babel, i just want to get in on that market i feel like so interesting so can't wait to try them and let's get to it okay so let's start now with topspin and power who wins in this particular matchup the pure drive 98 wins the topspin without a doubt they kept the current pure drive 100s open string pattern in this 98 version so that gives it a lot of nice rip and along with the more head heavy balance you can add some nice spin and pop to the ball. Now the arrow isn't bad either, but you can notably feel a more controlled ball striking when you use that one compared to the Pure Drive 98. It was just easier to hit the sweet spot and you can really get after it with the denser stringing pattern. Just felt more solid and in control. The power is close with both frames, of but I would give the edge to the Pure Drive 98. Now it sounds like I'm a huge fan of this racket, but it just didn't feel good at all. Yes, I could add some spin and some pop, but that doesn't matter. It literally felt like trash. It's a stiff, lackluster frame with like zero responsiveness. Like when would I use this racket? Honestly, maybe for a little warm up, warming up a player for a tournament or something like that. But if I'm playing points and I need to add some feel and some flair to the ball, it just sucks. So. I'm preferring the Pure Arrow 98 over the Pure Drive 98 because it simply feels a little bit better. Now it didn't feel great, but it felt better than the Pure Drive. I could also accelerate the racket faster with the Pure Arrow and almost felt like I swung faster than I actually did. So that was nice, especially with my slow swing speed. Also, I hit a flatter ball and the Arrow seemed to be able to control that better than the Pure Drive. In regards to volleys, I mean, the Pure Drive kind of sucked, not gonna lie, and the Arrow was just okay. Again, I could control the, uh, the the volleys a little bit better with that denser stringing pattern. Uh, but honestly, none of them were great at the net. Uh, and you may be saying, hey, it's just one extra cross string. Uh, what's the big deal with the denser stringing pattern? Well, the hitting surface is more dense on the arrow. Whereas on the pure drive, they spread out the string bed more. So the space in between the strings is simply bigger, giving you more wild cut and action on the ball. And honestly, it worked great for their regular pure drive and the pure drive tour. But they're just so much more comfortable, so much more fun to play with even though they have a bigger, uh, beefier frame and a little bit bigger head size, but it just feels so much better. So for me, stay away from the 98 and go with the 100 instead, no doubt. Just so much more enjoyable to play with. And with the Pure Aero 98, I would actually prefer that over the Pure Aero 100, but I'm not a fan at all of the 100, so it's not really saying much. Both frames kind of feel a little bit empty if you ask me. Now, have you tried any of these frames at all? Let me know what you think. Do you like them? Do you hate them? And I've played quite a bit with both frames now and I wasn't sure if I was just being in a bad mood having a bad day a little salty on my first hitting session with them but since then nothing has changed I actually started hurting in my arm playing with the uh, pure arrow since I preferred that so I've used that a little bit more my elbow started hurting so I had to put it away so anyways I'm gonna pass on both of these I will not recommend now remember my joints are a mess so uh, you may be stronger and can handle these so no problem there if you have to pick either one of these I would go with the pure Pure Arrow 98. My two students here in today's video also tried both the rackets. Lexi here, I liked the rip of the Pure Drive and preferred that over the Arrow, but it wasn't making her change from her current frame at all, which is the Blade 98 18 by 20. Lindsay actually preferred the other one, the Pure Arrow, which gave her more power than her current Radical MP360, but no, she's not changing to the Pure Arrow either. She's sticking with the Head Radical. 
Overall serving with both of them felt nice. You get some pop on it, but again, I would prefer the pure arrow. Uh, it's just that little bit of a pop versus control. I just felt they, they did a good job with this racket. On my all time pure arrow or the pure arrow VS back in the day, this right here, honestly, they should have just brought this back in a 305 gram uh, package and call it a day. Cause this racket is actually quite nice. It is 295 grams on strung, so a little bit light, but still I really like this racket. Also, it's a 16 by 20 string pattern, thin straight beam there, but just feels better holding it on the uh, heart of the racket. Whereas at this one did feel a little bit bulky. Overall, my favorite Babolat, still the Pure Drive Tour. I just get so much action and power with it. So right now that will be my favorite Babolat racket. Do they beat the goats over here? Of course not. These are legendary sticks. No, Babalot, you did not beat the ghost. Bring these old school rackets back and let's get going. That is it for this time. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you guys next time. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Take care.